Oh, welcome one, welcome all to the show that entertains all. And I'm not talking about us. Ay, ay, ay. It's just so painfully predictable. So let's get into it. I mean, there's no reason to really slow play. I don't need to ask how anybody's day is. I don't really care. It's simple. From the very start of this, I think we've done a pretty damn good job of just shooting you straight. Never try to break news. Never try to be, you know, oh, I'm an insider, but I have a pretty good idea on things. And I've said to you now for a long time, you don't have an athletic director. You got a board of trustees that is just totally unpredictable. And Mark screwed him. That's really what today is. We can play the blame game. But I'll put D'Antonio, the board of trustees, and Bill Beekman right there together. All three. And that's the menu you're going to eat off of because no one in there is blameless and no one in there is solely to blame. And depending who you talk to, what you read, what's been reported, what's not. Look, it's very, very simple. We talked last week. I said to you, if they don't have this thing done by Thursday, I'd be very worried. Well, this is why. You have an idea what's going on behind the scenes. You have an idea that the minute this process began to drag out, mm -mm, danger. If you've ever made deals, when people hem and haw, when people delay, when people change course, when people need time to think, deals don't get done. So, look, according to some, it was very simple. Beekman had a clue that Mark was retiring. No one else did. Beekman... MSU clearly wanted to target Fickle. Some of the board didn't get clued in. They got upset. They demanded a search. They demanded minority candidates. That's how you end up with the dog and pony show that is Mel Tucker and Robert Salah. All the while, everyone knew Fickle was the guy that was supposed to be hired. Therefore, nobody would take the job. You gave people a chance to crap on you publicly multiple times. And by the time you circled back to the guy you should have hired a week ago, he changed his mind. And you know what? I can't blame Luke because we did the show Friday that said, I don't know if Luke should take the damn job. Here's why. Want him to take it. Need him to take it. I get if he doesn't. Ultimately, let, let, let's take each step of this. Look, the Board of Trustees is a clown show. It's always been a clown show. Whether it was my time in Lansing, getting calls from Joel Ferguson about why I'm so rough on him in the program, their antics, the political posturing, the BOT are the equivalent of terrorists because they hold the school hostage in certain regards. They hold the athletic department hostage because they approve the head coach. So instead of doing what's right for the university, oftentimes in Michigan State's sordid history, um, they put their own agenda ahead of it. This is my friend. This is my boy. This is my agenda. Look, you want a minority candidate? You want to search? That's great. Uh, I don't care if we hire a black guy, a Chinese guy, a space alien named Marvin. I don't care. I want to win football games. And unfortunately, the BOT usually isn't aligned in. Let's just get a guy in here who's going to kick ass and take names for MSU. So I believe that absolutely happened. Now, here's the problem with the buffet guy, the guy who hands the plates out at the buffet. You know, Bill Beekman. This is why you don't hire a zero as an AD. Beekman's a nobody. Oh, he's great if you, if you, if you need to plan a trip for the Board of Trustees. He's great if you need to publish an alumni mag. But Bill Beekman's not a killer. Bill Beekman's not a ninja. Bill Beekman is not a big-time athletic director. He's a nobody. He's a career nothing. But now you got him in charge of a very difficult job with a very difficult board that he was the secretary of at a university that is getting pummeled left and right, some of it justified, some of it not. And you want to tell me that this is going to be the point, man, to one of the most important hires in the history of Michigan State Athletics. Man, I don't have a fart noise juicy enough to, to give you my take on that. But remember, I'm not piling on, uh, on Billy here. I'm not mad he handed me a dirty plate at the buffet. I've told you the dude's a bum for a year and a half. He ain't fit to beat us. This ain't for him. You need a dog in there. You need a real AD in there. Now, look, if Bill knew 
that Mark was retiring, which he claims to have known. The first thing Beekman needed to do before he ever started a search, you get the short list, you go to the board of trustees, and you go, guys, gentlemen and ladies, this is who Mark wants. This is who I want. This is who our donors want. We need to have this locked up. You can't start a search unless the board is in your pocket. And guess what? It turned out Bill wasn't able to do that. Now, whether he informed the board or not, bottom line, cabin pressure got lost here. I, I think that's very believable. When you lose cabin pressure on the MSU Board of Trustees, you're dead. There is no flotation device that's going to keep you alive. The fuselage is going to disintegrate. It's going to be like the movie Alive, where people are flying out of the back of a plane. It's over. You lose cabin pressure, you're dead. You're not getting it back online. That's the history of Michigan State Athletics. Bill Beekman's not a strong enough figure to keep cabin pressure. Bill Beekman's not a big mover and shaker. He's a nobody. This is not Joe Castiglione. This is not Bill Moose. This is not a Oliver Luck. This is not a big-time AD. And then you got Mark. And I told you from jump, there's no plan. If Mark had a plan, let me tell you something. The plan is simple. I know Luke Fickle. My wife is friends with his wife. We have an absolute guarantee he is our guy, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's next year, whether he's sober, high, drunk, blindfolded, or in a toboggan with his kids in the hills of Cincinnati, he'll take the job. That guarantee was never in place because he didn't take the job. I told you from the start, Mark left everybody high and dry. Oh, oh Bill knew. Oh, that's great. But not enough people knew. Not enough people knew and not enough plan was in place to get this done. So what do you end up with? Mark's the only one sitting pretty. That's right. He's got on a little Tommy Bahama, going to be a grandpa. He's got 4.3 million pieces of paper to write down his drink order from the pool. Oh, you know what else Mark pulled off for himself? It was real nice. A little million dollar a year job in the very athletic department that is a clown show. The only winner in this is Mark. Walk out the door high and dry at the worst possible time. There's absolute, you'll never sell me they had a plan, and if they did, it got botched, and guess what? Guess what? I always say this. You know the cool part about being the boss? You make all the decisions. You know the lousy part about being the boss? Everything's your fault. Mark's the boss. Mark went out on his own terms. Mark refused to fire his friends. Mark refused to leave when it was right. Mark picked his successor. That's what some of you want me to believe. Okay. Mark crushed himself with this. Now, you'll get the lemmings and the sycophants who will defend him till the end. Their business. What a shameful ending for him. Beekman? I mean, what, what did you expect? What did you expect? Look, you're an athletic director. You got to talk it. You got to walk it. You got to be it. You think that guy's rumbling off a plane and that's a deal closer? Yeah, no. Sorry. Are you kidding me? The guy's suits look like they're from the Salvation Army. MSU doesn't exactly put a plane of impressive folks on there and go, Luke, here's the money. Here's the bag. Get on the plane. You're coming home. So I, I just, again... The whole thing's flawed. You got, a, you got a ridiculous human being as an AD. You got a board of trustees that has always been, is now, and forever will be agenda-driven. It takes a very powerful human being to massage that board of trustees. Hollis was very good at it. But think about the clown show behind the scenes. When you've got Mark freaking D'Antonio and Becky D'Antonio, most likely, clearly, advocating for Luke Fickle. You got Tom freaking Izzo on board. You got donors on board. And the AD couldn't keep the board of trustees in check. The very board he was the secretary of. I mean, between Beekman and the board of trustees, do me a favor. Put them all on a hot air balloon and fly it right into the sun. Just keep pulling the chain that blows the fire right up into the hall and carry it into the sun. I've said it for years. MSU needs... Um, what do you call it? They need an enema. Put that thing right up their ass and, and just clean it all out. You need a new AD.
that if I could get rid of the entire board and start over and put six or seven homeless people on there, I would take my chances. This is the story of us. This is who we are. It's what we've always been. It's how you end up with, with Denny Stoles over Barry Switzer. It's how you end up with Bobby Williams. It's how you end up with John L. at halftime of a bowl game. This is who we are. It's what we are. And now it becomes President Stanley's problem. Look, you don't have an AD. You're not going to get a coach worth a damn. And I'll finish what I have to say momentarily because then you're going to ask me, oh, well, Mike, who are we going to get, huh? Doesn't matter. The bottom line is it was fickle or bust. It was either Mark had the succession plan or bust. Mark screwed him. Bill screwed him. The BOT screwed him. And I got to tell you, it's a pretty disgraceful lot. So now MSU football will go back into the dark ages. There's no plan. There's no juice. There's no sizzle. I'll talk about what they're going to do next. I'll tell you what they're going to do next. They're going to lose a lot. And idiots will keep donating. And idiots will keep buying tickets. And he'll probably tread through the doldrums and being fifth best in the division and making an occasional flea bag bowl. Maybe they'll get around to hiring an AD at some point. But really, what AD worth his salt would come here and work with that loathsome lot, the BOT? Look, this is what we are. It was fun for a few years, wasn't it? Had some great memories. I hope you took pictures. I hope you did what I did. Maybe you took your dad. Maybe you took your son. Maybe you had those moments. I hope you did, because the only thing we got left is those memories and a whole bunch of ass kickings coming up. 248 539 9797. I ain't holding your hand. Call the freaking number. Figure it out. Who's to blame? 